for Hong Kong University, like in 2015 and 16, and now doing master programs at SOAS in London. So, what they're actually saying, their accent is actually quite difficult to listen, actually, I would say. The, the, the Mandarin accents, mm, not good. Okay, so if there is only one China, then the one China is the one Republic of China, but not the PRC, but indeed. So, so there are three communiques published and reached by by the US and the China, and there is no full term of the China within the communication in this. So you can interpret it as a Republic of China instead of the PRC. So what I'm wondering rather what, what they are actually standing for. So, but anyways, I'm so, it's of my great lament to be here um, on account of Hong Kong's calamity for having such a short speech. But of course, I'm very glad to be here with all of you, um, sharing the same affection, reaffirming the solidarity with our comrades, uh, fighting against the autocratic um, regimes uh, in Hong Kong 10,000 miles away. Of course, this is very saddening to see our comrades, you know, being arrested, being tortured, and being prosecuted by the outdated and draconian public order ordinance while we are enjoying all kinds of privilege and having an opportunity to live abroad. However, we have a more imperative and uh, a more important role to take up here in London is that uh, if you could vote uh, in the election, please uh, cast your vote and uh, write to your MPs in your constituency. Maybe you can also join the political party uh, that could represent your political stance, no matter if it's conservative, Labour, or even SNP. So, and bring your issues, bring Hong Kong issues into the, into the party. In London, we can see that the pro-China uh, faction is really strong, and if we refuse to step into the apparatus uh, of this free world, okay, if we refuse to step into the apparatus of these bureaus, this kind of pro-China faction would then fill up the vacuum and alter the landscape of the Western politics. So it is a high time for us to, to write a letter to our MPs, to join the political party and bring Hong Kong's issue into this party. Or maybe you are not able to vote, then you can talk to your British friends who can vote in the elections and then ask them, import them to bring the Hong Kong's issues into the parties. And uh, only if we show our conviction, potency, significance in the free world, the Western countries, including our metropole, our former metropole, the United Kingdom, would be more willing and having greater intention to uh, care about Hong Kong, to keep an eye on Hong Kong. Uh, and in the of course, it's quite saddening to see our friends being arrested, but it is a, but I have to say, it is a, a perennial struggle ahead, and it may take like more than years, like our counterparts in Taiwan, like our counterparts in Ta Tibet, to strike for the democracy, strike for freedom, and then fight against the autocratic or a dictator, Chinese communist. So I think it is a. It is our responsibility, even though Hong Kong is, will be, would be in the grips of the, of the People Liberation Army. The overseas Hong Kong people will then become more critical and carry on the struggle overseas until we have a de democratic Hong Kong and a free Hong Kong. Thank you.